Look at this little sippy cup. That is so pretty. The bunny rabbit. Look how pretty these are. That's sweet. Little candles in shape of bunnies. These pretty storage jars. <laughs> Look at this little pillow. light up. Oh, how pretty. They light up. See the little light in there? Isn't that pretty? On, off. Oh my goodness, look at these little keys. They're sandy bottomed. They're weighted down. You have some little geese and you have some little chickens. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So precious. So you get the trivet and the dish towel. That is adorable. Okay, let's see if I can find fiber. Gummy bites, gummy bites, gummy bites. Fiber. Oh. And yes, he can still take these. He's not too old. He can still take this brand. I'm telling you guys, I can only find it here. I can only find these at Target. Get my favorite basic Target tissues. We are out of ranch and look at here. It's on sale. Need some ketchup too.
I never get the one in front ever. A little apple juice to keep your pipes running. Oh my goodness, guys, look at these. They're little seed bombs. You hear them in there? And then you have these little seed pops. You just stick them in the ground and you get super greens. I guess this is some kind of herb for pizza, stir fry. Isn't that cute hummingbird? That must be flowers, butterflies, bumblebees. Look, that is so cool. Then you have a ladybug garden, a bumblebee garden, grow wildflowers for pollinators. That is so stinking awesome. Seed ball kits. Look at this. Raised garden beds, fabric ones. Oh. Look at that. Mushroom. I wanted to try mushrooms. I mean, that didn't sound right. I wanted to try growing mushrooms. A hyperponic planter. That's with water. Yep. You grow them in water. A sunflower in water. Oh my goodness. Shut up. Tea garden sea kit. I was just looking at the teas over there trying to find a flavor that I hadn't tried yet. Look at that. Pollinator baskets. Look at the little strawberry basket. Strawberry patch. Look at that. Get the kids involved with the little clear with a little clear bin. Herb gardens. First flower gardens. How sweet. Goodness knows I don't need any more, but this is just so beautiful to me. This is art. This is just lovely. <sighs> just beautiful. Look at the little garden basket. Oh my goodness. Can y'all see me walking along with that little thing draped across my arm? Aw. You get a plushie and a treat. Peeps milkshake kit. Oh, how cute. Oh, look at the little cowboy peep. And the little princess. Hello guys, happy Monday. Uh, I got home from Target and put away the few things that I purchased. And um, made myself something to eat. And kind of put it around outside. I was playing with the kittens, the little gray one, the smoke gray one. Let me pet him. And I actually was able to scoop him up and put him near the food bowl. I was so excited. I think he's trying to trust me. Here she, I think it's a little girl. I hope so. I want her so bad. Martin is being really, really mean to her. But I want this kitty cat. Um, I'm already thinking up of names for her. But anywho, uh, I think they went in for a while because it's getting pretty warm. I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't checked weather. But they said or I saw posted that it was supposed to be 90 degrees today. I don't know. But anywho, uh, I'm outside because after I did what I had to do out here, I went ahead and unloaded the trunk and got all of the bin stuff out and the outside stuff I'm going to leave outside. So I figured I'd show you guys out here and then we'll go inside and I'll show you the stuff that is made for that. But Everything I'm going to show you right now is made for the outside. One thing is this um, base. It's a foldable base. It has little open holes right here. So maybe something was supposed to have been inserted in there. I'm not sure. But it spreads open like so. So what I'm going to do is set one of my draining pans, my draining plates, big one, for a plant and use it as a plant stand. So there's that. I found this little butterfly pick. 
going to stick it in something. Oh, a little Christmas cactus. Can have that. I found this thingamabobber. A hummingbird feeder. I have so many of these guys, I can't resist buying the ones that are glass. But look at this pretty one, and it's still in its in its little foam. It was completely intact, but I tried to open it, and it popped open. Who is this in front of my house? Who is it? Here's the little the hook. I want to see what it looks like, so bear with me. that is and it has a little perch for the birdies I guess that goes in there like so like that look at that in that pretty I love it let me be careful because every time I like something a whole lot I'm clumsy and I end up breaking it so let me put it right here does this come with it a mascara brush there's a little piece of twine I guess that it came with this because I certainly didn't have this on the ground. It's probably for the little holies. And you can use a string, I guess, in lieu of the S, the little hook. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna leave that there and Google. I found this awesome, great condition. I don't think it's ever even been used. A uh, little slider maker for the grill. Thought that was cool. You can make a whole bunch of them at one time. I'm not sure what these are for, but I know what I'm going to use them for. I'm going to use them for seed starters. There's three of them. I'm gonna drill some little drain holes on the bottom, and we're going to use them as seed starters. There's not a marking or anything like rubber made or anything like that for me to kind of get an idea of what they were. But it says BPA free. So we got some seed starter bins. I got this little thing. And the reason I got it is because I wanted it as a roof liner for another one of my little elf homes. I'm going to make two more and I like to have something whimsical on top as the roof. Well, what the heck are you talking about? Let me show y'all in case y'all don't remember what the heck I'm talking about. So here's this little gnome home from a piece of wood. And then over here, I put these two dry, crispy pieces of firewood because I am going to create two more little houses. So there's the roof to that one. And I need to um, find some more of these little sets they sometimes sell them at dollar tree they haven't put them out yet i haven't seen them at dollar tree yet but if not i saw them on amazon i just got to pick which ones i want and then i'll have a little a little city a little stump city out here next i found this oh i don't want to knock y'all over i googled and this is 70 dollars okay this is $70, guys, and it was sitting in the bins. It's open. It was flapped open, and the store was trying to sell it for $9.99, and I guess nobody wanted it, so it ended up in the bins. It doesn't look cut. It doesn't look dirty. It doesn't look like anybody took a hunk out of it or anything. It still has the little pegs in there. I'm using that so I threw that in my basket okay I found these and I have some similar I think the same ones only in black it's these little corner brackets found two of them and my neighbor across the way has them uh, attached where her garage is. She has one on either edge of her garage and it looks really pretty so I'm going to copy her. <laughs> I'm going to copy her. And these actually will match my garage door so I think that's going to be nice. I found this thing and at first I thought it's crusty and decrepit and it's not going to roll but it does. It's a little plant stand, a little metal plant stand, little caster rollers. 
for plants just like the ones I got at Dollar Tree well the same type of thing that I picked up but you see how rusty and crusty and dusty it is this is going to be one of the things that gets spray painted everything that I just showed you is going to get spray painted uh, that's metal and then the only other piece I found is this and I'm going to set a plant in it as well I think that's going to be pretty or if I have a glass dish that I can set um, stones in and make a little a little uh, uh, place splishy splashy area for birdies I'm not sure but I definitely want to use it for the yard so all of that is going to get spray painted all of this metal stuff but it was all metal and all pretty heavy and I spent $25.67 I think which is a lot for me at the bins, but considering it has some heft to it, it has some weight to it, um, I wasn't surprised and I wasn't like upset about it either because I got a whole lot of crap for that amount of money. So I'm happy about that. So now let's go inside, have a sip of some sweet tea, and I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff I picked up. So it is definitely for cleaning the little holesies and getting out debris or little ants or whatever gets in there. And yep, I guess the string is for an alternative to the hook. Okay, ah, I hope the glare back here isn't too too bright for your eyeballs. It's just this is the brightest spot in the house, the most convenient to everything that I have scattered around in here. So. Let me show you guys the random little things that I found at the bins. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I had to get situated in my granny rocker. Oh. Anyway. I couldn't leave it behind, okay? He was kind of pushed off into the corner, and I asked little dude to try and reach him for me, and he did. So he came home. He's going to go in the wash. I don't know what it is about stuffed octopus, and avocados. Avocados, I've had an affinity for for a few years now. They're so adorable usually when they come in this stuffy form. Uh, and octopuses. But uh, I got him. Little dude found Freddy Krueger. Little stuffy. We have um, Leatherface, an Annabelle. And who else do we have in stuff? Uh, Jason in stuffy form. We do not have a Freddy in stuffy form, so we thought that was a coinky dinkle find considering that's what we were looking for on his birthday. I found this thing. There's definitely been makeup in it. It's one of these compartmentalized little makeup bags, and I think these are so convenient. Any like I travel or overnight anywhere, uh, hardly ever, if at all. But um, it's this little zippy thing so somebody's foundation looks like it busted up in here but it's okay i'll get it cleaned out look like they were my shade too uh but we'll get it cleaned out and it's in good condition no rips no tears no nothing the plastic isn't scratchy or gross it's just a little stained and dirty so i'm gonna take some uh hot water and some makeup wipes to it and it'll be good as new i thought that was cool and if it's not for me then i can always let somebody borrow it if they need it heck or even have it Little dude found a mallet, which, another coincidence, the edging that I have requires a mallet to stamp in the little, um, the little stakes, and I know I have one in the garage in a toolbox, but this was already here, so this is actually going to go outside in my bin with my little gardening things, that way it'll always be handy when I need it outside, because I actually use the mallets when my, um, shepherd hooks fall out of the dirt when it rains too hard or when any little post I have holding up plants or whatever kind of starts to tilt I use a mallet to slam it back into the ground and I'm always hunting down the one I have the one I have is a little bigger but I'm always hunting that sucker down and this one is going to be outside in the bin next to things are super super dusty I'm going to one of them I think is black or is it blue I'm not sure no it's black um, these have had their moment. A lot of people don't like them. I love them every time I have them and I'm beginning to incorporate them in my gallery wall along with the black frames, the colorful crosses. 
Some of my frames are so thick they almost have a little shelf on top. Like the frame itself is kind of wide and thick that you could actually set something on top. Which is what I've done. I have a, a little love sign and I think a smile sign. And I set them on top of the frames. I'm like, well, look at there. But they have to be black. I want everything because it's so busy. I want everything to at least to be the same color and only give the crosses that pop. I say all that to say I have a home for one of these definitely on the main picture in on my gallery. This is one of these is going to sit on there perfectly. The other one I have to kind of scout out to see where a, a wider frame is. It's these guys. It's these little wooden words. This one's already black, so I'm always curious to see who is selling it for what. Uh, somebody was selling it for $4.99. What is that sticker? I don't know if it's Burlington or Ross or whatever, but somebody was selling it for $4.99. That one is going to go post it on top of one of the frames. And this is the one that I want for the top of the main frame. As you go up to the gallery, I just need to spray paint it. And it says family. So, I had to make sure we were recording, guys. I'm like, am I recording? But this is pretty. And this is like the second one that I've seen that is spray painted green. I have one in the kitchen that was spray painted green. Why green, people? But anyway, th okay, this was at Ross. Somebody was selling it at Ross for $7.99. There's no Goodwill sticker on it because sometimes Goodwill will put a sticker on it and it doesn't sell and they just throw it out into the bins if it doesn't sell. And I'm always curious about that too, but that one doesn't have a Goodwill sign. I found this pie plate with the little holes in it. Um, I don't have one of these. I'm assuming it's to do something to the crust on pizza, right? To make it either crispy or soft. I don't know. I need to Google. I figured if it's not pizza... And crust related I'll figure out what it's for and roll with it that way but I don't have anything like this so I grab that because honestly when we buy pizza we just do the takeout but every now and then y'all know if y'all my friends on Facebook y'all know I have this strange craving for cheap frozen pizza and um, I don't mind a crisp crust but I didn't know they could come out soft in an oven because I don't really use my oven for pizza. Anyway, I need my tea, guys. I'm starting to lose my spunk. Okay, let me get my noodle down here. Pardon the dome. So I can show you these two beauties. Now, around the time that that person who I thought was an employee, but more than likely was a shopper with an attitude, started yelling at me uh, about the camera being out I had spotted a bunch of crosses in the bin uh, but a lot of them were similar to stuff I had but I couldn't resist these and even though I haven't put my other silver crosses into play anywhere I just I love the look of these they look straight out of Mexico and this one is hecho in Mexico there's this crucifix one hecho in Mexico and then this one. So stinking pretty. So a lot of the stuff that I got at the bins was heavy. That's why I ended up paying 20 whatever I paid. Uh, but I still think it was worth it. Because one of these crosses is about probably. This is probably more than $20 if you were to get it in at like a little shop or whatever. I know for a fact. Because y'all know I love crosses. So I know, I know my crosses. This probably was like $18 by itself. So I think I did really, really well for all the stuff I got. And then the only other thing I picked up, I thought of my oldest because he's a drummer. Now I'm going to have to buy the clock kit, which I see everywhere. I see them everywhere. And I've never had need for one, but now I'm going to buy one. I think they're like 5 to $7 depending on where you go. And I don't think that's a bad trade-off. Look at this symbol. Somebody made a clock out of it. Except the needles are gone. Okay, the needles are gone because it's been in the bin. But I'm going to get the clockworks. I'm going to clean this up. And I'm going to make a clock. And it's going to go in that room in there with my big one. I just thought it was freaking amazing. It's going to be a clock. It's going to be totally cool. So, got that. And 
Oh, hold on. I forgot about these. I, I wanted these when I saw them, but now that I look at them, oh, cleaning them is such a pain in the butt. To get them nice and vibrant again, it's a pain in the butt. And I'm not sure where I want to use them, if I'm even going to use them, but they're not cheap this size. Uh, and I got, I found two of them. You see these ivies. These ivy stems. They definitely need to be dusted and shined up a bit. Um... And you know just shaped and it'll be lovely in a pot um, somewhere and I actually think I might use these outside don't judge me I think I might use these outside on my wall planters right here on the side that never can grow anything nothing can grow on my planters here on the side because it's all shade it's all shade. I've tried to transplant uh, purple hearts in there. I've tried seeds in there. Nothing grows. Uh, and then if something does begin to grow, it doesn't do well. There's no sun up against this wall. So I think I'm going to... Those pots have been on that wall forever. That little display has been on that wall forever. So those might go there. I'm not sure. I'll see what, what it looks like once I have it up. I might think like, ew, there's too much going on. And for me to say it's too much going on... It, there's too much going on but we'll see we'll see what it looks like out there uh but the only thing else that i have to show you are a few things we picked up at thrift town because we stopped by there as well let me go get it it's over there by the cat i lied i forgot i had two things to show you guys from inside the store i showed y'all the big old freaky sheep head and then i found this is in the store i found this lovely uh, i can't wait to just wash this and make it sparkle and drop a candle in there and light it and it's gonna go in here because I have the blue I have the blue going on in here but in there pretty and it was $2.99 thought it was lovely and I'm slowly accumulating more and more blue in here so when I finally do bite the bullet and get my furniture I already decided I still want blue sofas anyway but um yeah I'm noticing I have quite a bit of little blue things up in this piece and then, I'm so glad I looked down. So glad I looked down. Because I found this, I probably would have paid $10 for it. I'm not even kidding, because I got so excited about it. A metal P, guys. A metal P matches exactly the M on my M wall upstairs. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put the P up there next to it or if I'm going to put the P somewhere else, but <laughs> I loved it. It's the same, the same friggin' thing, and it's from the same store because the M has the same tag on it, but this did not cost $10. It was only $4.99. So cool. So that is definitely, definitely, definitely something that made me happy. Okay, so then we went to Thrift Town. At Thrift Town, um, <laughs> little dude thought this was funny. And I have the little tomato where you put in your sliced tomato. I have the onion where you store your sliced onion. I didn't know they made a doggy one. And I ain't going to lie to y'all. This is going to be so convenient because sometimes my child eats like a bird. And I don't really want hot dogs like as much as my kid likes hot dogs. So I'll open a pack of hot dogs and I have to put them in like a ziploc bag or whatever so they'll stay fresh um i'm still gonna put them in a ziploc bag probably but they'll have their own little hot doggy home isn't that cute i thought that was adorable it's gonna be so cute in there with the tomato and the onion and it was a dollar 99. can y'all see that a dollar 99 for that i finally found a big one i found the little small ones but i hadn't found a big one and I think it's gonna be so pretty to see like the roots all growing all up in here I just like the way that looks the roots in the soil and stuff I think it's gonna be neat uh, and that was also a dollar ninety nine oh can y'all see that that was dollar ninety nine now this next thing I'm gonna show you <laughs> little dude has been after this for at least a month a month and a half there's something about it that scares me there's something about it that just feels wrong um, 
but he really likes it it's also going to go in the washer here soon and i'm thinking it's super old it's probably going to disintegrate but he likes that it looks spooky and funky and old and i don't know but it's this ugly stuffy it's this old ugly stuffy and let me tell y'all he walked around the corner at the bins with this ancient looking porcelain doll the paint was peeling off of the face it was a genuine old porcelain doll the fact that it wasn't broken was amazing but she was faded and the paint was chipping off her face i'm like please don't tell me you want this thing and i kind of think he did but he it just freaks me out some things just freak me out and he's like no it's okay so he put it back i'm like mm-mm that thing would have needed an exorcism. I think he needs an exorcism too. There's just something about him. I didn't like him. Uh, but he was a dollar ninety nine. I wonder how old this thing is. Cuddle Me Toys, Los Angeles, California. Ages three and up. I don't know. I thought maybe there'd be a date or something on it. It's just ugly. And then I could not resist this awesome awesome laptop bag it's from banana republic and it's in really nice shape and i just i just loved it i thought it was really really awesome there's no tears no tears no tears i said that twice no tears no stains no rips the inside is in really good condition it's nice and heavy and good quality and it's like waterproof if you spill something on it it's not going to soak through yeah hear that i thought that was awesome and it was only $3.49. So I'm like, this is cool. Either I can use it if I ever get my butt back to work or if I ever find uh, a work from home job, I'll want to set, have it available with me, you know, in case I got to lunch or something. Um, and then this one. And I'd seen this one a couple weeks ago and I thought it was really pretty. I love the color. I love the material I love that little flower and I figured since I'm buying that one it looks kind of masculine kind of serious let's get a little whimsy a little femme a little cute with it and this one was also 349 y'all know this is my favorite color next to orange anyway but it's just a really pretty little um lappy toppy bag lovely but that's everything guys that is everything that we picked up when did we go out there? This weekend? No. We didn't go Saturday. Whenever the heck we were out there. Um, that's everything we got at the... Oh, Sunday. Sunday! Sunday! I was going to say, when the heck did we have time to go thrifting with his birthday and all? We went Sunday, but that's everything, guys. So now I'm going to clean and scrub and organize and put away and do whatever I got to do with these things. And, uh sit down to watch Oppenheimer. I still haven't watched it. I started watching it last night and I fell asleep. It was not boring. It was not dull. Like I sucked right in, but I fell asleep and then I woke up and I had missed way too much to start over. So I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit and watch Oppenheimer. I have plenty of time before little dude comes home. So I'll be able to get her done. But I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Uh, I'm going to try and catch up on all the comments on the last few videos that I've put up. Um, because I love talking to y'all and I don't want y'all to ever think, oh, she don't want to talk to us because I do. But until my next go around, you guys keep having a good Monday. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week until I see you guys again. Uh, just, 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 just be good. Okay. Be good. Maintain your level of Zen. Okay. Don't let anybody get up under your skin and have you come out of character. Okay. Okay. So until my next go around, I love y'all. Bye. Bye.